Uh, a Ukraine-bound Boeing 737 carrying 176 people crashed outside of Tehran today, killing all passengers and crew members. Uh, the crash, of course, comes against the backdrop of increased tensions in the Middle East. And joining us now with the latest on this developing story is Yahoo Finance's Alexis Keenan. And Alexis, this also comes against the backdrop of two 737 MAX crashes. Yes. How does this play in to everything? You've been closely does it, following it. Does, does it, it play at all? in? And Boeing is not answering that question at this point. They've been rather quiet today um, saying just this uh, in a tweet. This is a tragic event and our heartfelt thoughts are with the crew, passengers and their families. We are in contact with our airline customer and stand by them in this mm -hmm. difficult time. We are ready to assist in any way needed. However, the Guardian is reporting in the last couple hours here that the black box will be withheld by Iranian authorities. They will not share it uh, with international, perhaps U.S. authorities. Hope that that's not the case. Really important here to get to the bottom of what caused this engine fire. Now, I have been talking this afternoon with professors of aeronautics from MIT, as well as University of Toronto, asking them, is it possible that Iranian authorities could know right off the bat within hours of this crash that it was, in fact, an engine failure or an engine fire that was the cause? They both agree Probably not. It would be very challenging to make that call that early on. They said that they would need the flight data recording information or a more reliable video to even take a stab at it. I mean, Alexis, so, I mean, to get to the questions on people's mind, one, did the Iranians, were they somehow responsible for the downing of this plane even? And two, is this crash connected to the previous crashes? Right. Right. And we don't know the answers to either of those questions right we now. We don't know the answers, though these two professors that I have been speaking with, they said that absolutely they would be able to tell the difference between an engine fire and an engine failure caused by perhaps a component. Remember that Southwest flight that crashed in 2018, where that component, that blade, uh, came out of the engine and went into the fus fuselage and damaged and uh, killed one passenger. There was that flight that it can happen, but they said absolutely investigators would know the difference between a missile strike and specifically right. because heat-seeking missiles, guess where they go? They go right towards the engine because that is the hottest component of the aircraft. Right. Uh, developing story, uh, I'm sure we'll hear more from, um, hopefully from the company, uh, from uh, you as well as this it's kind plays of just, out. It's kind of amazing. Another it, story that you would well, not... It's inflating these right? stories. You, it's you, like, if you wrote it, I would say right. no this, movie. This one, no movie. Right. This one you can't, this one you can't put well, in Well, and I mean, you know, it's again, you kind of can't talk about this, but I will. I mean, given that it's a Ukrainian plane, you wouldn't mm. think the Iranians would shoot down a Ukrainian plane. It's horrible to even I mean, talk imagine, about, but... Yeah, the majority of the passengers were Iranians followed by Canadians is the next right. largest population. But it was a Ukrainian nationals. carrier, is that right, That's Alexis? right. Ukrainian yeah. carrier in Iran, um, just outside of the, their international airport in their capital. Right. The Mad Libs of 2019. Yeah. Ukraine, Iran, right. Boeing in yes. one place right. at one exactly. time. Right, exactly. That's the point. At, right. The, at, yeah. and, Bermuda right. Triangle. Yeah, yeah Seriously. exactly. Seriously. Thanks, guys. Alexis, <laughs> Thanks, Kaden, Alexis. thank you. Hey, investors. Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.